The industry I started working in 20 years ago looks nothing like the industry that exists today. Global energy landscape is quickly changing and the urgent need to mitigate climate change for current and future generations is only accelerating the pace. The need for skilled workers in energy, in clean energy, in climate is exploding. The Irving Institutes for Energy and Society at Dartmouth College started the Master of Energy Transition, the MET, in order to meet this need. Change management, intelligent change management, requires a multifunctional perspective on the energy transition that integrates climate science, business, policy, and understanding of technology, and the human skills required to influence people, listen to people, to change organizations, and to change sectors. And the Irving Institute itself is located at the crossroads of our engineering school, our business school, and all of the riches of the main campus with studying social sciences, natural sciences, and the humanities. Graduates who understand how all of these disciplines work together, who understand how technology impacts policy, impacts finance, impacts engineering, um, they're actually f fewer than you might think out here in the real world. So the MET is, you know, um, explicitly designed as an interdisciplinary program that puts themes like health and equity as co-equal to other traditional pillars like technology, business, um, policy, and that kind of thing. And so I think that this balanced approach will impart on students um, the importance of championing um, um, energy systems and, a, and an energy transition that truly values human well-being. We're trying to integrate a number of different disciplines in a single master's program and that really bodes well for the types of people that we want to hire in the future. Since our founding, we have always made it a practice to ensure that our learning experiences are really well integrated with practice, with practical experience. Through project-based learning, students are not only provided the tools to function as a future leader in the energy transition space, but they're already coming out of the gate having applied those skills and seeing the real world challenges and opportunities that stakeholders, whether they be uh, individuals, societies, NGOs, corporations, all face and must navigate. A hallmark of the Dartmouth experience is the alumni network. It doesn't matter whether you're at Tuck or Thayer or at the college. It has been my lived experience that uh, I can reach out to a Dartmouth alum of any type and get a response from someone and truly of any type. In spring 2024, Dartmouth announced its commitment to reaching net zero carbon operations by 2050. And because we are making the campus a living lab, students will have hands-on opportunities to learn about the energy transition taking place right here. The world is changing fast um, and the ability to think creatively, to be adaptable, to collaborate across fields and disciplines and sectors is going to be really, really important. So the biggest challenges that we face are going to require creativity and invention and the MET program provides a really good foundation for them being able to look into the future and in fact create the future that we all hope to be part of. Those driven to accelerate an affordable, reliable, and equitable energy future and who seek a top-tier academic experience paired with real-world experience, the Master of Energy Transition invites you to join us.